Okay, arm circles. Up on your toes. If you don't want to be up on your toes, I'm not going to say that too many times. I know I say that all every time. But if you're new and you don't want to be up on your toes, you can do your own low impact version of what we're doing. Good, other direction. Good, and side to side, chest fly. Quick jacks. One of the things I love about boxing, whether you're listening to music or not, you can really work on rhythm, like being consistent with your counts. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, come on. Crossovers. If you haven't heard me say this before, I was really inspired by hearing that Michael Phelps, when he was in his first Olympic games, the butterfly, same amount of strokes on his last lap as his first lap. He was the only one who achieved that. How important is rhythm? And how satisfying is that? Toe touchers, let's punch with that. Nice and loose in the shoulders. Hands up, chin down. Tuck that chin down. So the hands are coming back high on your face. <clears throat> Little front kicks, like you're skipping rope. Hey, good, a medicine ball with a toe touch. Hand it back, 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 hand it back. Lots of shoulders and hips turning turning just like we do in a punch bang bang turn that body good squats and front kicks go at your own speed hips back in the squat chest up hips in on the front kick hips in 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 Keep the hands up while you're kicking. I love to punch people while they're kicking. They're standing on one foot. It's a great time to punch you. Get your hands up. Let's get that medicine ball. Hand it back on the other side. I love that that feels like boom, 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 boom. Get those hips and shoulders moving. Breathe, relax the breathing. Squats and round kicks, tip the body, tip the body. Cover with the opposite hand. Hang that hand up on the side of your head, right next to your eye. Opposite hand, opposite hand, opposite hand. <clears throat> Very good. Let's step back on guard. Can you turn around this way? Let's get that jab. You can move up on your toes. Jab. 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 Look at Justine's shoulders on the jab. Let it pop out like a surprise. Look at this. This is not a surprise. Where I cock back and then I throw the punch. Okay, so I want that hand to move towards the target. Bam. Bam, move your shoulders with that. Let's take a little step. Step in. Step, keep your other hand up covering. Other hand up covering. I want a double jab stepping forward. Bang, bang. Move, move. Get your hand straight back to your face. Keep your covering hand up. Chin down. Let's get one on the exit too. Bang, bang, and bang. In, in, out. In, in, out. Come on, come on. In, in, out. In, in, out. Time. Let's get the right cross. 
right cross. Now, slow it down, recover, breathe. I want the rotation. My belly button starts on this side, comes around to this side. I want it to be hip driven, core driven. Come on. This is one of the things I think of, Miss Justine, can you come over here for a second? Like if you're not really rotating, look at this. If I have a short turn, look at the reach on my punch where, where Miss Justine is. When I have that full rotation, boom, I can get deep, deep into the, into the target. So I want that exchange of the shoulders. Look at my shoulders. Starting point, boom, extended point, and return. We can always shorten up on a punch, but you don't have the long ones. It's hard to just make it happen when you need it. So always have the balance and posture to throw a big turn, a big turn. I want you to double up on that. Punch, recover, punch. Punch, recover, punch. Punch, recover, punch. You have to recover from the first one so the second one is just as big. Let's have an in, out, in. Step in, step out, step in. In, out, in. I want some footwork on that. In, out, in. In, out, in. In, out, in. Being able to step in on your right hand is such a great asset to have. In, out, in. In, out, in. In, out, in. I want a double jab and then a double right hand. Left, left, right, right. Left, left, right, right. Left, left, right, right. Left, left, right, right. Big recoveries, hands up. Left, left, right, right. Keep your chin down. Elbows hanging down. Don't let your elbows stick out. Elbows hanging down. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. All right, time. We're going to get the swinging hooks. God, I want to say way back, this is about 20 years ago, 25 years ago, might have been 30 years ago, I got a chance to work out with Carlos Palomino for a while because I was working on a movie that he was working on. He was a welterweight world champion, and I used to throw my hooks really short like this, and he got me to start swinging them big, 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 big big to have some diameter and some whip and the power source originates down in your hips from this like you're holding onto a brick and swinging it swing 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 he called it an exaggerated hook where you can really feel the center of your body pulling your weapon through the target and getting some whip i want that big whip whip and put the other hand up on your face like you're hanging it on a hanger that's right here Hang your glove on a hanger. Whoop, whip, 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 whip. I love the feeling of that. Connect to your center. Get some centrifugal force. Try to get the blood to rush into your hand. Hey, very good. Let's get some weaving. Duck under, duck under, duck under. Chest up. Chest up. You can tuck your chin, but keep your eyes up to your device as if you're watching your opponent. Like this here. Duck under. Do you see that? Under. Under. Look how much rotation Justine is getting. Okay, you guys, I want body shots here. Bam. Bam. Right there. Boom. And boom. I want a loaded one, boom, load the other side, boom, load, fire, load, fire, load, fire. I want the hips. So you have to pay attention to where, oh, I see some good ones. Oh, hi, Wyeth, I see it. I can see you too, right on the edge, Rainy. Good job, dig. So this is how extreme it is, when I'm loaded, for my, for my right hand here, it's actually my left hand, my belly button is here when I fire, boom! It gets all the way around to the other side. And then I can, I can fire the other side, 
or I can move my head, load, fire this side, load, fire this side, move the head, fire, move the head, fire, move the head, fire. I want to recover fast with both hands up, chin down. Dig with the hips, the hips, the hips. Come on, come on. Give me hips, give me hips. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, one of my old favorites. We're gonna get a body shot and then a hook to the head that we stop on the target. And then I want you to weave around to the other side. Hook, hook, weave around, hook, hook, weave around. Bam, bam, duck under. So let's look at Justine do this on me, okay? Boom, boom, I swing. Boom, boom, I swing. Boom, boom, I swing. Boom, boom, I swing. I want you to see a punch coming, duck under it, and then deliver. Deliver twice. You got to hit the body, reload, and hit the body. I mean, hit the head. Hit the body, reload, hit the head. That looks awesome, you guys. Okay, time. Let's break out of that. I want the left, right, left, right, straight punches. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Look at the hips. I see that Miss Justine is wearing Lululemon pants and she has that thing back here. You see how much it moves? Bunch of moves. You would think of a, you know, punch as being an upper body thing. It's really a whole body thing. Whole body, whole body. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna do what we did last time. I want you to step in on the four and see if you can keep rhythm. Left, right, left, step. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I want you to move your head a little bit. One, two, three, four, move the head. And one, two, three, four, move the head. One, two, three, four, move the head. We always tell the kids at the karate school, what happens when you hit someone? They're gonna hit you back, okay? So you gotta move your head right away. Come on, come on, one, two, three, in, move, move, move. I would move your head, step back out so you can do it over again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I love that time. Good job, you guys. That's our warm up. so let's stretch. Good, hook it up in front, do that reach. Reach up, just like when you get out of bed in the morning, you're like, ah, reach it up there. Good, let's release that, hook up the shoulder. Stretch it and turn towards that shoulder you're stretching. Try to keep your shoulders down. We're really working on our shoulders being down and level. Good, other side. Turn your head towards that shoulder. Good job, you guys. Let's march and warm up the neck. Good, hold the feet. Let's roll in front, both directions. Loosen up the back of the neck. Good job, you guys. Time, let's take it down. We're gonna get the hips up and down. Put your knee on the outside of your arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. If your right foot's in front, reach up with your right arm. Long leg in the back. Stretch that leg out long. Reach up. Good. Let's set that knee down. Be gentle on your knee. Tuck the pelvis under. Press the hips forward, stretching the hip flexor. Tuck it under, keep the tuck going and the pushing forward. Sometimes I pull 
I pull with my front foot a little bit and I feel like I can get deeper into my hip flexor. Okay, good, let's roll it back on the heel, extend that front knee, stretch your hamstring. If you wanna slide your knee out in the back, go for it. Breathe, keep the breathing going. Very good, let's bring it to the center. Hips back, stretch it down. Keep the breathing going. <clears throat> a lot of times people hold their breath. I catch myself doing it still after all these years when I'm stretching, holding my breath. If you can catch yourself holding your breath, that's a great thing, that's awareness kicking in, let it go. Good, let's take it to the other side. Get your knee on the outside of your arms and move the hips up and down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach it up with the right arm, long left leg in the back. Good, let's set that knee down. Tuck the pelvis under, press forward. And I just wanna remind you that one of the ways I press forward with my hips is by pulling, kind of curling with my front foot, curling it back to pull my hips forward. And I keep that tuck going and I can get my hip flexor. Very good, let's roll it back on the heel, stretch that hamstring. If you wanna slide your back leg back, go ahead. Hey, good. Center. Let's reach across. Stretch your back over here, your hamstring over on this side. Reach across. If you can get your back towards us, that'd be great. Keep the breathing going. Let's take it to the other side. Very good, let's bring it back to center. We're gonna get this one a little different today. I want a warrior two. Point your right knee over here. Get your chest towards us, sink it down. This is like a side kick position. You know when you see those pictures of people doing flying side kicks? They're usually up in the air like this. I want that position so your foot in the back is pointed towards us, okay? Your other foot pointed away, okay? And I want you to shift your hips down and this way into that stretch. Can you lean on your front knee? You can, you can, yes, you can support yourself here if you want. Very good. Let's get the other side. I want you to point this straight out, straight out. This foot sideways like a sidekick foot. Okay, sink into it. If you want, you can do this or this. It's about getting your hips this way, down and over like that. So I feel a stretch on my inner thigh, on my straight leg, and I feel it back here on the other leg. 
That's a good side kick position. Okay, everybody stand up. Hey, you guys, <coughs> I want you to get a sip of water. Sip of water. Okay, if you're back, <clears throat> We're gonna go back to four counts, and it's a one, two, three, four. One, two, four, one, two, four. You see the rhythm? I'm not going one, two, three, four, take a break. One, two, I'm going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One of the best things you can do is to integrate your kicks with your punches or your defense. That integration is important. If you're a southpaw, it's okay for you to be on this side. You just have to switch everything to the other side. I'm actually a southpaw, and I had to switch it in order to teach all of you right-handed people. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, four, one. So that one, look at this. I'm, I'm. I'm do, starting my one hand out as my foot comes down so I don't have to break rhythm. Okay, so I can keep it absolutely even. One, two, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, four, one. And get a good turn on two. Don't shorten up the turn. I want good reach on that right hand. Good reach. Two, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, you guys, let's see who can switch it to the other leg without switching sides. I don't want you to switch sides. Let's use a front kick first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, four. Go ahead and turn it into a round kick. Four. One, two, three, four, one. And again, as your foot is coming back, you have to start that jab or you're going to break rhythm. So there's overlap from the kick. Your start your punch before your foot touches down. Your foot touches down on the impact of your punch. Okay, very good, you guys. I want to slip, slip, out, in. Slip, slip, out, in. Slip, slip, out, in. Slip, out, in. Slip, out, in. Slip, slip. Cover on the out, and then come back in on the other side so you can do the other side. Out, in, slip, slip, out, in. Slip, slip, out, in. Slip. You see that out for Justine? Go ahead. Oh. Slip, slip, out, in, slip, out, in. I want the head moving. So if you can get your head moving in the same direction as a straight punch on the out, when I imagine a jab, you've seen it happening in the UFC a lot more these days. These guys will fire a jab and then their head pops out and they fire another jab or a right hand because people are trying to counter that jab. So you gotta be ready to move your head. Boom, move your head, move, okay? Very good. Okay, we're gonna do a combination now. I want one, two, slip, slip, move right, hit right. One, two, slip, slip, move right, hit right. If you're a southpaw, it will be this. One, two, slip, slip, move left, hit left. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to the other side. One, two, slip, slip, move, turn. Are you getting the full turn? We do this one a lot and you know, I really think it's important to be to move to be able to move equally well in either direction and I want you to I want you to move your right foot first when you move to the right right foot first One two slip slip move your right foot left foot follows big turn Let's see if you can get the big turns on the right hand One two slip slip, slip. bam 
Okay, yeah. One, two, sip, sip. Bam. One, two, sip, sip, move. Bam. I want your hands to move with your head. I can't tell you how many times I've been punched while I was slipping. Somebody reads it and they punch you where you're going. So keep your hands up. My hands are moving with my head on the slipping. Bang. Okay, let's see who's ready for this addition, okay? I want one, two, slip, slip, out, move right, hit right. One, two, slip, slip, out, move, hit. One, two, slip, slip, out, move, hit. For you southpaws out there, one, two, slip, slip, out, move, hit. Let's go, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Now, if you wanna get fancy, on the out, you can also move to the right. So you could go one, two, slip, slip, out, and take that step at the same time so you don't have to break rhythm or add another count, right? So one, two, slip, slip, out and move, bam. And then my temptation, I really wanna step in on that right hand. So it's boom, boom, slip, slip, out, boom, in. In on that angle. Try to take a step on that right hand and turn the body and recover. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, I like that. Looking good, you guys. Get the turns, get the turns. After we fire that, on that right hand, hey, you guys, let's, let's switch up to a combination, a punching combination. Right, left, right. Let me see if you can get some whip on your hook. Turn, whip, turn. Turn, whip, turn. Turn, whip, turn. I have a rule on my hooks. I'm gonna show you a side view, is I want lots of diameter. I want a big diameter on my hook. I can always shorten that up. I can always shorten it up. But if I'm always throwing short punches, I'm probably not gonna be able to get that whip that I'm talking about. And so I want the whip nice and big. But the rule is, your hand is not allowed to go behind you. Look at this, if I'm swinging my hook from way back here, the person just has way too much time to get out of the way or hit me. So when I, when I put my hand, when my hand comes out, it's coming out over here to the front already and whipping through. Okay, let's go. Cross, hook, cross. Cross, whip, cross. Cross, whip, cross. The old karate punches, these punches, that's one of the things it, it teaches you is that each time you pull a punch back, it loads the other side. And that's what's going on here. I cross, my hook is loaded here. It's not behind me, right here. And then I can swing that through. And now my, le my right hand is loaded again, bam. So I'm gonna go deep, around, deep, deep, around, deep, deep, around, deep, Deep, around, deep. Okay, you guys, we're going back to our combination and we're gonna build that in. So here we are, okay? A one, two, slip, slip, out, right, left, right. One, two, slip, slip, out. Now I have a new angle. My opponent is over here now. Okay, so I have the cross, hook, cross. So here we go. One, two, slip, slip, out, in, bang, bang. Let's go work that combination. Get lots of repetition. <laughs> My son is a professional baseball player, and his coaches constantly talk about repeatability. Every time you fire that right hand, fire it with your whole body. You have repeatability. You need balance and posture to accomplish that. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Work it, work it. Work it, work it, yeah. I see some really good ones. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. After the cross hook cross, I want a left jab, left jab to get back around my opponent. I wanna show you something here. Miss Justine, can you come up here and do the combination? 
So why is this so useful? Here I am, you can see me over Justine's shoulder. She does her one, two, maybe I block it, I fire back, she slips, she slips, and then she has that out, okay? And boom, 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 okay? Now, I'm on to her over here, so I fire at her over here, she comes around me with her jab, okay? So, you know, being having that flexibility of being able to move either direction at any time is really important. Let's go. One, two, slip, slip, out, in, bang, bang, jab, jab, up on the toes. When you finish, move your head. Move your head when you finish. Look how much angling Miss Justine gets. Slip, slip, move, bam, 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 bam. Let's add a right cross on the end, a right cross this way. So look, one, two, slip, slip, out, in, Hook, cross, jab, jab, cross. Let's go. Come on. Boom, bang, 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 bang. Smooth, smooth. Giving them lots of angles to look at. I'm over here. Nope, not anymore. Now I'm over here. Let's go. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Good job, you guys. Okay, I wanna get a whip kick, a right round kick where you turn through like this. One, boom. I love the spotting on that. Okay, now, you guys, let's not do it high because you may not have mat, and I've seen people fall on this one, or you might wanna just do like a pirouette with your knee bent where you don't kick out like this. I get my eyes around. Once I start, I leave my eyes there, get my eyes around. I want you to spot. Leave your eyes there as long as possible. Get your eyes around. Boom. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. I want a jab before and a jab after. Jab, kick, and jab. Jab, kick, and jab. Let's go, let's go. Jab, kick, and jab. Jab, kick, and jab. Kick, and jab. Jab, kick, and jab. Jab, kick, and jab. Okay, you guys, left leg forward. Let's get rapid fire round kicks. Let's look at Miss Justine do this. Up on the toes like she's skipping rope. Let's keep that covering hand up. Covering hand up, but loose, not restricting. Your shoulders should be able to move, even though you have your covering hand up. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's transition into left kick, right punch. One, two, 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 one, two. One, two, one, two. Get that covering hand out. Make sure your hand is tracking straight out and straight back. Straight out and straight back. Straight out, straight back. Straight out, straight back. Straight out, straight back. Time. Hey, good job, you guys. One minute water break. Look at you guys up on the toes, Vanessa and Mahin. I love it. Good job, you guys. <clears throat> okay, we're going to go to our old favorite, the jab and the slip. Uh, being a southpaw, like if I put Justine here, a lot of times I was trying to get, like if somebody had really good, every time I jab, they jab me back, jab, jab me back. No, right after. Jab. Boom. <laughs> that happens all the time. Do you see that? Boom, see that? Boom, boom, like that. And so if, I get, if I'm slick enough and I get onto someone, I can, I can touch them, boom, move my head over. See that? Boom, here. And that loads my right hand. Boom, so I can hit the body. Jab, slip, boom, right there, boom. 
See that? So I want the jab, slip and load with cover. I want that violent dig to the body. So my belly button has to come from this side on that body shot. Boom. Okay, so jab, slip and load, hook the body. Jab, slip and load, hook the body. <clears throat> There's a B on your gloves. Here, can you put these on real quick? Practice, 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 practice. I wanna see if you have the balance, you guys, to reload. And I found it to be very useful. You know, you, you, you notice varying degrees of this. When you're boxing a really good boxer, they watch everything you do. Like if I'm, if I'm gonna hit the body and I put my hand down here first, oh, every time they hit the body, their hand moves down first and gives me a clue. And what I try to do is, whether I'm hitting to the body or I'm hitting to the head, same, same load, same load. Jab, slip and load. Hit the body, reload, hit the head. Hit the body, reload, hit the head. <clears throat> a lot of times when you hit the body, that person's gonna try to check it here. They're gonna try to check that body shot. And sometimes their hand comes down and it gives you that opening up top. So I want you to see what I'm talking about, Miss Justine, can you come over here? So I'm gonna to try to get where you can get a good view of this. Stay right here so they can see. Okay, so she slowly jabs, slip. Look at that load. She's gonna hit me here, boom, and then up here, bam. Did you see the whip? Okay, let's do it a little faster. Jab, slip, bam, bam. Do you see the load, the reload of the hips and she's getting a good whip. I like to imagine I'm holding a brick. If you had a brick in your hand, would you go like this? No, you would swing the brick. I want you to swing your fist as if it's a brick, especially the head shot, okay? So let's look at Justine do this again. Bam, bam! Okay, come on, come on, let's work it, let's work it. Jab, slip, hook, and a big swing up top. Hook, yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on, come on. Bam, good, good, good. Work it, work it, work it, work it. Get a good whip. I want you to finish with a hard right hand. So after you swing through on the hook, fire the right hand up the middle. You can step on it. For south paws, we're jab, slip, hook, hook, right. I want a, a left, a left hand on the end. All right, you guys, good job. I want to get the weave, the cross, the weave and the cross, this one. Cross. I see a left hook coming from over here. I, I move my head in the direction, punch is coming this way. Move my head a little bit this way, come under that hook, fire and I, another right hand. So when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm weaving, I have to reload my shoulders. Bam, reload, bam, bam, reload, bam, bam, reload, bam. Cross, weave, cross, cross, weave, cross. Miss Justine, can you step over here? So let's look at this again, how she sees the left hook coming here. So touch the right hand, right hand. She sees it coming, gets under it, loads and fires another right hand. In rhythm, it's gonna look more like this. Bang, whoop, bam, like that. And bam, whoop, bam, okay? Let's go, practice, practice. Tight rhythm. One, two, three, two is the duck. One, two, three. One, two, three. Instead of just a cross, after I want the cross hook cross. Right, weave, right, left, right. Right, weave, right, left, right. If you're a southpaw, left, weave, left, right, left. Come on, let's go, come on, come on. Come on. Rhythm, rhythm, come on, come on. Let's look at that live one time here. Can we go a little bit slower? What? I want them to be on the Here, here. Okay. And so it watch again. Cross, weave, cross, hook, cross. Okay. You guys, I want to put that together with our other combination. So let's look at Justine slowly. Jab, slip, hook, hook, right, weave, right, left, right. 
Okay, so we're putting those last two combinations together. Let's watch Miss Justine do it at rhythm. Okay, and ha ha, bam, 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 bam. Okay, I love that she follows me. I end up changing my angle. I guess it was just instinct. And she adjusted and followed me with that cross hook cross. So make it real, shadow box. Imagine the punches coming at you. You got a straight punch, you slip it, dig to the body, hit the head twice. Then you got a left hook coming, weave under it. Let's go, come on, come on, come on, come on. Work, come on, come on, come on. I want two round kicks on the end of that. After the cross hook cross, I want a left kick and a right kick. And then up moving, dodging around. Let's go. Let's watch Miss Justine do that once. Okay, let's do it on the, watch Miss Justine, you're gonna kick here and here. Yeah, here we go. Hop, hop, bam, 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 and bam. Okay, did you see that? Let's do it with rhythm. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, weave. Bang, 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 and bang. Come on, come on. Oh, I saw somebody do a whip kick on the end. That's a great idea. So if you want to, if you don't want to recover from this kick, you can turn through and do the spotting on that right kick. Let's go. If you fall down, I'm gonna kill you. Don't fall down. Let's go, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, I see you, Kenzie. You don't have to kick too high. Hi, Kenzie. I mean, rainy. Rainy, it's rainy. <laughs> okay, time. Before we take a water break, I want just an out and an in. So that out, out. Look where my finger, my finger knuckles, these knuckles right here, are right on my eyebrows, here. And my chin is down, so I can actually absorb a punch. Miss Justine, can you use like your palm? So w watch this, you guys. I wanna, I wanna punch. Boom, no, punch, 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 punch. Boom, like that. Boom, like that. Boom. So I'm not standing here like a wall. I absorb, I move with that punch. Let me see that head out. I just want this, out, 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 out. Feel your abs working, chin down. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Out, 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 out. Out, okay, switch sides. I want rapid fire round kicks with the right leg. With the right leg, kick, touch, kick, touch, kick, touch. Let's go. Let's earn that water break. Come on, come on. Rhythm, rhythm, like you're skipping rope and kicking. Even though you're covering, even though you're covering with your left hand, I want it loose. The stiff cover is gonna restrict your kick. Loose hips, loose shoulders, lots of cover. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, good job. One minute water break. Good job, you guys. Okay, for those of you who are back, let's just practice some footwork to get started again. I want you to move right, move left. Move right, move left. Move right, move left. Can you do that with your hands up? When you move right, the right foot goes first, the left foot follows when you move left. Left foot and then right foot. The lower you can stay to the ground when you do that, the faster you'll be able to do it. You don't wanna you don't want to jump up in the air like this. You're bouncing. I want, I want to the side, to the side, to the side, to the side. So keep your knees bent so you're low to the ground so you can push off to the side. Every time you get over to the right, I want the right cross. Bam, back, over, 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 bam, back. Rhythm.
rhythm, 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 rhythm. Okay, instead of just going back to the left, we're gonna get two left jabs. We already did this, but I think this gives you, I want a power right hand. So we're gonna go like this, move right, bam, bam, bam. I want you to get back to the left with two jabs and then reset up on your toes. And move, bam, bam, bam. Move, bam, bam, bam. Let's go, come on, come on, come on, come on. Move, bam, bam, bam. Okay, Justine put an out on the end of the two jabs. Let's see who can do that. So we're gonna move right, hit right. Jab, jab as we step back, and then an out. Out with the head. Let's go. And then move around, get up on your toes and move. Bam, bam, out. Yeah, I love it. I love it when I watch you shadow box and I can see what the other person is doing. That's amazing. That's like being a mime. Come on, use your imagination. Don't just do it. Dodge some punches. Play dodgeball. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, time. We're going to get some side kicks. I want to... I want you to do a left side kick. So we're gonna do a front kick this way to get that, remember when we did that stretch and I had your foot like this? So my foot on the floor is pointing away and my other foot is flexed and horizontal. So you have a front kick and a side kick. A front kick and a side kick. See how I pull my knee back? We've been working on that a lot. Can you get your kick? You're not gonna throw a punch and leave your hand out there, are you? So I don't think you should throw a kick and I want the glutes, I want the glutes here. The glutes. I throw my side kick a little bit like a back kick because I feel like it has so much more power. Let's go. You gotta get your knee up though in a side kick. Get your knee up, up, bam. Okay, time. So you guys were like this, right? Were you like this? You're doing the left leg. You're doing the left leg here. So you're like this, okay? So I want this, one, two, out, side kick. One, two, out, bam. One, two, out. Let me see it. One, two, out. I love using my sidekick position to get out of the way of a punch. If I can, uh, if I can show this, Miss Justine, can you come over here for a second? So if I fire my one-two at Miss Justine, she gets out of the way and fires back with the with the right hand. So I do one-two out, boom, like this. Okay. So her punch is coming. I'm doing that step and slipping my head out, boom, sneaking that kick in there with my glutes. You You're tough. You can take it. Okay. Your turn. I love to see an out because people will come. They'll come heavy and in. So they're plus one. They're plus one towards you. You have to be minus one or even one and a half. Minus one. One and a half. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. I have a rule for myself, for my looking when I sidekick someone. I only want to be able to see them with this one eye because I have my shoulder up protecting my chin. My chin is protected from the right hand over here. You see that? So don't, uh, don't look at them with both eyes when you kick a sidekick. Okay, you're going to be much more, your center line is going to be so open. I like to get here. Have you ever seen that Mayweather defense? For the right hand here. Okay, get behind that shoulder and fire that side kick up the middle. Get behind that shoulder, fire that side kick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, we're going to do what we did the other day. I want two side kicks and then a back kick looking out of the other eye. Boom, right there. Okay, so I have one, two, out, side kick, side kick, looking with my other eye, back kick and then come back and reset. Move around, let's go. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, I see some good ones. Good job. Kick with your glutes on all of those. Glutes, glutes, and glutes. Come on, come on. Time, time. Hey, good job. Let's get some squats and front kicks. And then we're going to take a water break. Get down low. Hands up covering in the duck. Chest up, hips back, and then hips in on the front kick. Hips in on the front kick. Good job, you guys. One minute water break. Good job. Good job. Everybody to face this way. I want to work that split squat side kick. Finding this position, look at this. See that? Boom. Boom. Back to balance and posture. The better you can recover, the more likely you'll be able to use this kick. When people don't work on a good, clean recovery, what are you doing after the kick? Getting punched or kicked, right? I want beautiful posture and balance with the hands up in the recovery. Recover down with both knees bent. Both knees bent. Chamber, fire that kick. I want a double split squat and a double side kick. I want down, up, down, kick, kick. Down, up, down, kick, kick. Down, up, down, kick, kick. See how I'm getting my knee back? Get it back. Time, stand up on guard. So step back with your right foot, unless you're a southpaw, and I want that same drill. Slip, slip, out, in, slip, slip, out, in, slip, slip, out, in, slip, slip, in, slip, slip, out, in. Slip, out, in, slip, slip, out, in, slip, out, in, slip, slip. Feel your abs working on that out, in. We're not moving our feet this time. We're moving our shoulders back. Come on, come on. I want the hands up on that out. Expect to get hit with a straight punch on that out. Expect to get hit. Expect to get hit there. Keep your chin down. Finger knuckles on your eyebrows, up on your eyebrows. That's where you put your gloves. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Other side for the side kicks. Other side. I think we faced this way before. Let's face this way. Down, boom. Recover. Bend both knees. Ha. Ha. Let me see you crunch that knee back. Let me see you crunch that knee back. I want you to double the I want you to double the split squat and the kick. How often have you seen a boxer duck twice in a row? They duck, another punch is coming, duck again. Let me see you duck twice up with the side kick. Duck twice up with the side kick. Duck twice up with the side kick. Come on, come on. Boom, boom. Yes, yes, yes. Get behind that side kick. I want body weight behind it, not over here. Get behind that side kick. Time, you guys. Good job. Before we move on, I just want the jab and I want you to work on your initial move. The way I do this, and you're probably gonna hear me say this a lot, is a string is tied to my knuckle 
and somebody over there yanks it and everything follows behind it. Whoop, whoop. I don't move anything until the weapon moves. Everything moves behind the weapon, behind the weapon. And I want you to extend out there, get the weight. I love to get the weight of my other shoulder behind the jab. So when my fist crashes into the target, my body weight is behind it. Be loose. Look how stiff this is, you guys, look. I don't want that, I want this, this. Ha! We used to have this guy, I don't know if you're out there, Johnny Mac. I don't know what you're doing these days, but this was like 40 years ago. He used to yawn while he boxed. And he would yawn and then hit you with the fastest jab you've ever seen. And it was like, I, that's why I like, you know, look innocent, look innocent, what? Look innocent, what? Okay, let's go. Come on, come on. All right, time, time. Good job, you guys. I want 40 push-ups. 40 push-ups. Breathe. Don't hold your breath. You can take breaks and then fire it up again. Twenty-five chair dips, Miss Justine. Hey, you guys, this is one of the things is I feel on a chair dip, it's easy to overstretch your shoulders by keeping your hips too far away. Look at how, look how much that stretches. That's not comfortable. Keep your hips close to your chair and drop down like this and you won't overstretch your shoulders like this, okay? You can still put as much of your weight on your feet as you decide to. The resistance is adjustable. Bend your elbows to about 90 degrees and then extend them. Look at that 90 degrees. Justine is hitting it. 25, 25. Okay, you guys, I hope you have a pad with you because I want the side jack knives, this one. Left hand up. Look how my shoulder lifts away from the floor and my legs lift away from the floor at the same time. If you wanna bend your knees and crunch it in a little bit, I want your upper and lower bodies doing this, you guys. This, 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 and don't hold your breath. Breathe, get in a rhythm. Be consistent, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Four more, three more, two more. Other side, same thing, let's go. Get it going, come on, come on. Breathe, breathe. Try to catch yourself holding your breath and let it go. Every time I catch myself holding my breath, I just let it go and breathe. Time, on your back. Let's use the hands under the hips. 
I want to crunch out and in, out, in, out, in. Keep the breathing going. Crossovers down low. One minute of bicycles. One minute of bicycles. Okay. Fingertips on your head. Don't pull on your head. Forty five seconds. Come on. Come on, come on, breathe, breathe, keep it going. Rhythm. Don't get into the suffering. Get into the rhythm and the breathing. Twenty seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Fifteen. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, push your hips up to the ceiling and breathe. Good job, you guys. Let's get the cat. Everybody on your hands and knees. Arch the back, look up, inhale, exhale, tuck the chin and the pelvis. Inhale, arch, and exhale, tuck. On each exhale, release your lower back with that exhale. Release it. Let the vertebrae separate from one another down low on that tuck. Good, let's take it up downward dog. And I want a three second interval, stretching the calves, alternating sides. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, switch. 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 Take it down on your belly. Bridge up, cobra, stretch your abdominals gently. Very good. Okay, let's everybody come up. Ragdoll. We're gonna hang down. If you want to stretch your hamstrings a little more, keep your legs long. Stretch those hamstrings. Let your shoulders and head dangle. On each exhale, relax your back and your neck a little bit more. <clears throat> Jeez, that's a full-on chainsaw. Okay, bring your hands up to your knees. Let's roll it up through the back. Excellent, you guys. We're gonna get our three Tai Chi breaths. Now these, it's like a string. A puppeteer is pulling you up by your wrist. Everything hangs loose from that point. As you lift your arms, you're gonna bend your knees slightly and then float back up on your exhale. So here we go, one, inhale and exhale. Two, inhale, and exhale. As soon as your legs extend, do the next one. Three, and exhale. 
One of the things I love about the concept of Tai Chi is that it's, it's continuous. You never stop moving. You go from one right into the next. Offense and then defense. And that's really, really the way boxing should be. We shouldn't hold still. We should always be expecting punches coming in. That's why we're working on moving the head a lot. That was really...